You're watching Astrology Tonight TV, astrologytonighttv.com. The Twelve Apostles of Astrology, Astrology in the Bible. With all this talk in the news about the Roman Catholic Pope, the Vatican, and predictions for the end of the Catholic Church, possibly foreseen by an Irish archbishop named Malachy, or as some prefer, as predicted by the legendary French seer and astrologer Nostradamus himself, we should remember that futuristic predictions and astrological symbolism have been a part of Judaism and later Roman Catholicism for thousands of years. The twelve signs of the zodiac are believed by many scholars to be represented in human history and mythology again and again. The twelve sons and grandsons of Jacob in the Bible, the twelve tribes of Israel, the twelve labors of Hercules, the twelve days of Christmas, the twelve months of the year, and most notably, the twelve most famous apostles or disciples of Jesus. In fact, one of the most popular ways of drawing up an astrological birth chart in Western astrology is by using the Placidus house system, a way of dividing up the sky in astrology that was developed and used by the Italian Catholic monk Placidus de Titus in the 17th century. Besides practicing astrology, the Roman Catholic monk Placidus de Titus was also a professor of mathematics and physics at the University of Pavia in Italy. Tradition has it that the twelve apostles each represent one of the twelve signs of the zodiac. The most common association of Jesus' twelve disciples and their astrological signs is as follows. Aries. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, the sign of new birth and new beginnings. It is the first fire sign filled with power and creativity and will. The Apostle Peter, later to be called the rock on which the new religion and the new church would be built, was a fiery man with a quick temper, just like the fiery, easy-to-anger, Mars-ruled sign of Aries in astrology. The Bible tells us that it was Peter who, in anger, attacked a servant of the Jewish high priest Caiaphas with a sword, knives and swords are the weapons of Ares, and cut off the man's ear when they came to arrest Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Even though Jesus wanted them to be peaceful, the hot-headed, fire-signed Ares Peter became violent and angry anyway. Taurus, the apostle known as Simon the Zealot, is said to represent the earthy, materialistic sign of Taurus. Taurus has a particularly strong attachment to money and things of the physical world, and it was Simon the Zealot who was said to have stubbornly resisted paying any tax money to their Roman overseers. Taurus is one of the fixed signs or more stubborn signs of the zodiac. Jesus had to overrule Simon the Zealot by directing him to hand over the money that bears the face of the Roman Caesar, saying, Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Gemini, the apostle historically called James the Lesser, was said to be an excellent speaker, preacher, and orator. Gemini is the first of the mental or air signs, and it rules human speech, talking, writing, and intellectual analysis. This apostle is famous for being slow to accept the idea, the mental air sign idea, that Jesus was their Messiah, whilst still being involved with Jesus and his mission. Gemini, the zodiac sign of the twins, is known for juggling more than one way of looking at things, and is the sign most often to be said of two minds about almost anything. Cancer. Cancer is the first of the deeply emotional water signs, and the apostle Andrew is said to have been a fisherman, one who makes his living on the water, who, when he first comes upon Jesus, runs to his family member, Cancer is the sign of the home, mother, and the family, to tell him that they may have found the Messiah. Cancer is often more self-doubting and uncertain than other astrological signs, though generally quite loyal, making the people they spend their time with emotionally members of their extended families. Leo. The determined fire sign of Leo is ruled by the bright, shining sun, and confidence, a sunny disposition, and a strong sense of self are characteristic of the Leo energy. 
The apostle known historically as John the Beloved is said to be the Leo of the disciples of Jesus. Leos have a strong need to be noticed and admired, and it is actually John himself who declared in his New Testament writings that he was the apostle that Jesus loved above all the others. Leos also have a great flair for the dramatic, and tradition tells us that the vivid, elaborate, over-the-top scenes of the Book of Revelations, also called John's Revelation, were the larger-than-life dreams and visions of the Apostle John. Virgo. Virgos are the grounded, practical, and calculating earth sign of astrology. Virgos like to check their facts and figures and make sure everything adds up before they make a call or a judgment. The Apostle Philip is believed to have been the Virgo of the Apostles, one of the dedicated servants of the cause. Virgo is the sign of hard work and service to others, and is the one who compared the signs of the coming Messiah from Hebrew Scripture and analyzed in Virgo-style detail before drawing the conclusion that Jesus was who he claimed to be. Libra. The apostle known as Bartholomew and also as Nathaniel is the Libra of the Zodiac. The Venus-ruled air sign of Libra is known for their desire for balance. The balance scales are the traditional symbol of Libra. And harmony with others. Libra is ruled by Venus, the goddess of love and harmony. In the King James Version of the Bible, the book of John declares that, quote, Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him and saith, of him, behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Like those who excel in the sign of Libra, Nathaniel Bartholomew was the tactful, persuasive, and diplomatic evangelist of the group. Scorpio. The Apostle Thomas is said to have been the representative of the dark, emotional, distrustful sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is a willful, fixed, or stubborn astrological sign. The Apostle Thomas is famously called the Doubting Thomas, when, as the Bible story tells us, he wouldn't believe that Jesus had returned to them, even as Jesus appeared to stand before him, until he placed the fingers of his hand into Jesus' side. Scorpio, by the way, rules surgery, the art of cutting into the flesh of others and placing your fingers and hands inside their bodies. Sagittarius. The Apostle James takes the role of the astrological sign of Sagittarius among Jesus' inner circle. Along with Peter as the fire sign Aries and John the fire sign Leo, James plays the part of the fire sign Sagittarius, the three fiery leaders of the early church. Sagittarius is a masculine sign that is famous for saying whatever they believe without reservation or caring what others think and who believe religiously in their freedom to say and be who they are. History tells us that James was the first to die as a martyr in the early church, dying for his beliefs and for openly speaking his mind during the rule of King Herod Agrippa. Capricorn. The Apostle Matthew was the tax collector for the Roman government, the only one of the twelve apostles whose career had him working for the Romans, who were the dominant ruling establishment of the day. Saturn rules the old goat called Capricorn. It is the hard-working and practical earth sign that works with the limitations of structure to reach their goals. Capricorn is the astrology sign that rules our careers and symbolizes governments, rulers, the established order, and the control of others under them by rules and traditions. Famously stoic under pressure, Capricorn desires respect, and, whether they wanted to or not, those the Apostle Matthew visited in the role of Roman tax collector had little choice but to respect his office and give him, as representative of the ruling government, whatever he demanded of them. Aquarius. Aquarians are the friendly but often emotionally detached, idealistic and original thinkers of the Zodiac. Thaddeus, also known as Jude or Judas, not to be confused with the often reviled Judas Iscariot, is the Aquarian amongst the Apostles. Ruled by Uranus, 
Aquarians are independent, progressive thinkers, and Thaddeus Jude is said to have been the apostle most concerned with the lot of his fellows in the community at large. Aquarius is concerned with the collective as opposed to the individual needs. As a strong-minded air sign, Thaddeus is remembered for drilling Jesus for the details at the legendary Last Supper. Pisces. Judas Iscariot, the one who we are told betrayed Jesus, leading to Jesus becoming a martyr on the cross, comes in as the Pisces of the original Twelve Apostles. Pisces rules the twelfth house in Western astrology, the place in our birth chart that marks hidden enemies and betrayal by those we thought we could trust. Pisces is the end of the astrological cycle, the end or death that must come before new life can be born again in Aries. And it is Judas' actions in the Bible that lead to the death of Jesus and, we are told, rebirth that completes the story of the life of Jesus of Nazareth. On the darker side of Pisces, the deeply emotional water sign can sometimes symbolize giving up on life and on this physical existence and, in extreme cases, even the act of suicide. Judas Iscariot, tradition tells us, felt excruciating remorse after his betrayal of Jesus, and we are told committed suicide by hanging himself to death on a tree. The higher side of Pisces represents going to a higher physical plane where one leaves the pain and suffering of the physical reality behind and, as a soul, dives back into the pool of everlasting life, which is what the Christ story tells us happened to Jesus and those apostles whose death came after his. The Bible is dotted with astrological references, including those of the three kings, or three wise men, said to have been astrologers from the east, who followed the signs in the heavens in order to discover the newborn Jesus, who tradition says gave birth to the great age of Pisces, now finally ended and giving way to the age of Aquarius for mankind. In upcoming shows, we'll take a closer look at the Roman Catholic Church today and the implications of the use of astrology by those at the highest levels of the Vatican. This is your host, Thomas Lyons, astrologer for Astrology Tonight TV. For more information about your own birth chart and what might be coming up for you in your future, you can go to our website, astrologytonighttv.com and arrange for a personal, professional astrology reading for yourself or a loved one, or you can order your own personalized astrological chart and predictive transits that can be emailed directly to you anywhere on the Earth. I'm Thomas Lyons, and you're watching Astrology Tonight TV, astrologytonighttv.com, right here on YouTube.